Hello, water signs. Um, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And uh, it could be about pretty much anything. Love, finances, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads. The first spread is for all of you. It's like a bonus. And then we'll have a separate spread for every water sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box uh, down below. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all water signs. Uh, we have uh, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Fool. Uh, then we have the Eight of Wands and uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aries on the table. I can interpret this to somewhat similar ways. <laughs> Water signs. You got this King of Pentacles. That's the person you're dealing with, right? So it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in your chart. Um, and uh, if this is somebody who is already in your life, it feels like they're going to finish work early. So they could come spend time with you, or so the two of you could go somewhere, or something like that. For others of you, it could be similar, but on a bigger scale. Perhaps this is a new person, right? And uh, they just recently accomplished or achieved something in their life. And now they feel secure when it comes to their finances. Now they feel good about uh, getting serious with somebody. And that somebody would be you. So now they feel good about approaching you, making you an offer. Because they feel like they've had... They, they are ready for a serious commitment. Again, because this, they just recently achieved something or leveled up. That's how it feels. So one of those two scenarios. <laughs> All right. So the King of Pentacles is the person you're dealing with. Uh, the Ten of Wands clarifying it is the card of a burden, a lot of responsibility, something that's taking a toll on us, something tough, rough. So for some of you, like I said, perhaps they're working overtime during the week or, in, uh, or on Friday so they could finish all their tasks early so they could come home early or so the two of you could perhaps go somewhere on vacation take the next uh, week off or something like that so here they come with a six of ones qualified by the fold the six of ones is a card of victory all right and the fold this is a card of uh, liberation or taking a leap of faith so most likely they're liberating themselves from whatever the ten of ones is um, the eight of ones right next to the deck is uh, a card of communication or literally going somewhere okay <clears throat> And uh, if this is a new person, they perhaps just recently got a promotion. Or they just made a lot of money. They closed a really good deal, though they got dividends. Or they got a new job and this new job is on the next level up. Or something like that. It feels like they've achieved something or accomplished something. So now this, they feel very confident about uh, coming towards you, Water Signs. And share their achievements <laughs> and tell you, hey, I'm ready for something serious. And by the way, I'm making, I make a lot of money or something like that. All right. So one of those two scenarios. All right. Cool. Cancer. Uh, we have the Four of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. Then we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Star. Uh, we also have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Fool. And we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, near is there a Sagittarius, we also have uh, Aquarius, but you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. I gotta be honest with you, Cancer, uh, this is a bit of a complex reading as to how many actual scenarios this could uh, resonate with. You could be dealing with one person, you could be dealing with two people, okay? And uh, those two scenarios have uh, sub-scenarios. <laughs> Um, the King of Wands, let's talk about this person real quick, okay? The King of Wands is clarifying the Four of Cups, and uh, the Four of Cups is a card of a rejection. So this is, I think, you rejecting them, okay? Uh, the King of Wands could be somebody you are already with, and uh, you could be telling them no more. I don't want to waste my time on you anymore. Go away, <laughs> okay? For others of you, it could be uh, one of two new people, Right? Perhaps you're talking to two new people and the King of Wands is one of them and you're talking to another person as well and uh, you're going to decide to move forward with another person and drop this King of Wands. All right? That's another scenario. Um, the King of Wands could be somebody coming back from the past because we are in Mercury retrograde until the end of the year and perhaps the Mercury retrograde is lighting up the fire underneath this person's butt and all of a sudden they're going to show back up and you're going to tell them no. Okay? Um, the rest of the spread, this is either you moving forward with another person, 
Or this is you feeling liberated from this King of Wands. Perhaps this King of Wands is just was very toxic or something about this person was very wrong or they became very toxic over time. So the rest of the spread, this is either you like feeling you're finally free from this person or you're moving forward with another person, right? The Ace of Swords in the middle, clarified by the star. This is where another person could come in or it could be your energy. The Ace of Swords is like, I'm cutting you out of my life and uh, finally healing from you. Because the star could be a healing card in the Ace of Swords. This is you healing, deciding to drop this uh, King of Wands. Or those two cards could be a decision to move forward with a new person. And at the same time, drop this King of Wands, whatever they're, they're representing in your life. Okay. Um, most importantly, you will feel either liberated or you will feel like taking a leap of faith with a new person, depending on your scenario, right? Uh, the Queen of Cups, that's you. You're clarified by the Fool. The Fool could be a card of liberation, right? Being li feeling liberated from the King of Wands, or it's a card of taking a leap of faith with another person. All right. So yes, a bit complex, but uh, I think I covered the, all of the scenarios. If I didn't, if you can think of another way to interpret this, let me know <laughs> in the comments down below. Oh, by the way, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle. All right. Again, it could be you by yourself, so because you're getting rid of the King of Wands, or it's a start of a cycle with another person, a new person. All right. Cool. Scorpio, we have. Um, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the world. Uh, we have uh, the Six of Swords, the King of Swords, clarified by the Four of Wands, and uh, we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, I like this, Scorpio. You are either traveling, or one of you is traveling, or hopefully both of you are traveling, and by both of you I mean you and this King of Swords, or uh, you guys could be like moving in together. Uh, you could be... Um, taking it to the next level. Perhaps this king of... It, it all depends on whether this is a new person or somebody who is already in your life. Okay, if this is somebody who is already in your life, you could go travel together over the weekend or perhaps you're taking a vacation for the rest of the year. A lot of people do, right? Or you could be moving, relocating, moving in together, right? We do have uh, two cards on the table that could be interpreted as cards of travel. Right? The world could be someplace remote and the Six of Swords is literally going somewhere. <laughs> the Nine of Cups that the world is clarifying is a card of a wish come true, it's a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And uh, the world is not only uh, someplace remote, it's also a card of an ending, but I always interpret the world as a happy end card. This is when one chapter of one's life comes to an end and a new better chapter of someone's life is about to begin. For some of you, Perhaps this person was away on, on a business trip and now they're coming back for the weekend. And you're going to be like, yay. <laughs> if this is a new person, you could be meeting this person on the road while you're on the road if you're traveling. For others of you, uh, the two of you will simply like immediately get into a commitment with this person. The King of Swords themselves is clarified by the Four of Wands, which is a card of a commitment in marriage or family. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is also a card of a commitment, marriage, family. So whatever the case, I think this is some good news. You're either traveling together or they're coming back to you, or if this is a new person, the two of you are definitely moving towards a commitment. All right? Cool. Pisces, uh, we have the Three of Pentacles, then we have uh, the Page of Wands, uh, we also have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups, and we have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow uh, water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or any zodiac sign. Um, somebody is going to ask you out on a date. <laughs> and by somebody, I mean somebody you already know, for sure. For sure, Pisces. Perhaps. This is somebody who, is, uh, who works with you or somebody who went to the same uh, class with you if you're still in uh, college, okay? Um, or somebody who is in the same gym with you, could be a friend or an acquaintance. This person is coming from the Three of Pentacles, the first card that came out. This is a card of collaboration, right? So this is when a group of people get together and do something together. And that's why we have so many different scenarios. Somebody you work with or somebody who works in the same bu building, somebody who works in the same industry, somebody who is in the same school, gym, what have you. Perhaps you've been 
like flirting with this person <laughs> up until this point, right? Because the next set I came out is the page of wands. It could be what's happening now. They could be asking you out on a date with that page of wands, but it feels like you've already connected with this person in the, up until this point, right? Then the, the two of you are like very similar. Like the way their sense of humor resonates with yours. That's how it feels. Right, if they say something funny or if you say something funny, you know, the two of you will be laughing at it together. Nevertheless, here they come, finally asking you out. Finally asking you out. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups, and we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Page of Cups is definitely them asking you out. Um, but um, I think, I don't know if the two of you will finish dinner. <laughs> if you're going out to dinner. I, and what I mean is that at some point, uh, the two of you will definitely start talking feelings, all right? And it's mutual. Okay? I believe the Knight of Cups either belongs to you or them, and the Ace of Cups belongs to the other person. To me personally, both the Knight and the Ace of Cups are very loving, lovey-dovey um, energies, right? The Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all the knights, and uh, the Ace of Cups is all about genuine love. So, I don't know what happens next. But this feels like a really good beginning, really nice beginning. This is definitely mutual. All right, Pisces? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.